We're going to have to prove our worth, Miss Jade. They don't look overly friendly. We're the one with a gun, H <laughs> H. Yeah, you can shoot, but you can't lock on with your 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 cannon in the races, though. Miss Jade, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> For those minute 30 seconds or less, I'm free. <laughs> Racing's all about family, Jade. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine, like, you, you see him go in it all the time, but it's just hard to imagine how Double H fits in this thing. <laughs> like, he must be all, like, bundled up, like, just, like, in a fetal position, right? To fit? He's crouching sideways. He's facing to the left. Uh -huh. Because if he faces forward, his shoulders are too broad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I bumped over that thing. Well, it's okay. I'm still in first. Not even taking that shortcut to the left. Hey, Dude, I just won the last three races in a day. In a day. In a day. Can we drop the little rookie bit? Bunch of losers. They're all losers, Miss Jade. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what does Carlson and Peters have to say about sponsorship? <laughs> Half second off the track record. Good job. Double H was so thrilled he had a kiss, Jade. Find out more in, in uh, archive of our own. <laughs> well, now I got to do it. Uh, all right. The actual, the actual dungeon. Here we go. There are four Beyond Good and Evil stories in archive of our own. Oh, wow. One of them includes exhibitionism, undressing, selfies, and nude photography. Whoa! I mean, integrating everything about the game into it, though, I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the secret entrance. Or are you filtering the stories just by explicit? Somebody in the chat is seeing more stories. Oh no, I just did a quick search. Oh, okay. And then I came back to the video stream so I could do <laughs> my dang direction. job. Uh. This part's pretty neat. The big spider robot shooting stuff at you. Yeah. It's really neat because it was just like I, there weren't too many other games around this time that had anything where it's like, oh, the scale just got bigger all of a sudden, you know. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't for like, it wasn't like another yeah, two every years. Every single uh, dungeon has really been raising the scale yeah. very demonstrably. Yeah. Like uh, it wasn't until like. God of War started doing stuff and like Shadow of the Colossus that games were like what if we just blew up the scale a shitload yeah. whoops I need you to take pictures and I'll pay you enough to turn on your electricity <laughs> by the way the government is a lie <laughs> Dungeon 3 Spider Tank? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> He's getting more enthusiastic every time he says it. Also, there's some <laughs> snakes. Look at this snake. Ooh, look at this snake. Okay, I filed the picture. Also, this is one of the areas where the, uh, the camera is kind of... Uh, messed up in the same way it is in the PC port or it's like super sensitive. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so, in order for these uh, animal pictures to be useful for research, they must be geotagged, right? Like They must be. Like, either that or, like, Jay's camera's picking up extra data about them somehow. Science lady knows where you are, and she's not selling you out. That, that's an understated fact, and we should point it out. <laughs> All right, we got to get some uh, more boxes here. Oh, you can make it, little hovercraft. Also, this dungeon's kind of neat in that it starts... Uh, Integrating like the hovercraft as part of the puzzles. Sometimes it's just like, oh, this part of the dungeon is hovercraft exclusive. But mm -hmm. sometimes it's like, as you see later, it's more like, oh, what if I use the hovercraft itself as like a puzzle piece and we're like, I'm jumping on it or something or like using it to cross a gap. And yeah, it's yeah. Pretty neat. Do I not have any more crates? Come on, just go for it. We'll never be able to break our way through. I'll blow it to smithereens with a torpedo instead. Oh, right. That's right. Thank you, Double H, for the hint. <laughs> right, the torpedo. <laughs> I have done no practicing. I'm just trying to remember this game off the top of my head, and it's worked well for the most part until right about here. So yeah, you get caught. Have the torpedo chase you. Ah, yeah. Eh, close enough. That's neat. I like that. <laughs> I do not think the hovercraft was made for this sort of use. Yeah, I really don't think so. Account identification. Okay. Oh, no boost in here. Did you know that a set of pods completely restores a set of pods? <laughs> it's bogglingly uh, uh, recursive. <laughs> I'm having vague flashbacks to what we were talking about when we were at this part of the game in our first LP, but I can't quite... I think my dad came in at this part. <laughs> Alright, get on the phone. We gotta, we gotta do I this. I mean, I'm gonna right. be talking to him later, so... Here's a super attack that's been upgraded. There you go. Just shoots a whole bunch of little things. Also, Double H is just a little bit better at like beating enemies up on his own than pages, which I guess makes sense. <laughs> he is a trained soldier. Yep. You can tell because of the stripy pants. <laughs> Uh, people are asking you to bring back Thank your you, dad or at least your cat into LPs. Uh, well, I'll have to go back to Michigan to do that. I've got my dog, like, right here, if that'll help. Mm -hmm. I mean, those cats are still around, so I could bring them, but... The exterior moats, as opposed to the <laughs> interior moats. We got so many moats. Ah, missed it. Whoa. Whoa. Again, missed it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> It's a good thing you bought a set of pods, a set of pods, a set of pods. Yeah. Oh, jumped right onto it. Son of a bitch. Nothing does a, nothing really does that much damage to the, the hovercraft though, so that helps. That's Paige's workmanship right there. Yeah, I mean, he made a great uh he made a great thing. Ooh, ooh, I remember what we were talking about right now. What? A really tortured Slaughterhouse 5 joke. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, that's right. That's the joke we were making. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, the, the good thing about a, uh, a game that only has, like, three and a half dungeons... <laughs> yeah. ...is that... 
the, the approach to all of them are, are very different. Yeah, they all feel way different from the others. Like they they never like blend together at all. Mm -hmm. Just can't help but think you get real motion sick in this thing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, before we do anything else, we should go uh, this way, I believe. This area just, uh, going through here just unlocks like a shortcut back into the, uh, the races if you want to leave and get more stuff. Uh, the, the chat is correct. This is where Dark Souls got the idea for including shortcuts. <laughs> it's the only game with a shortcut that came before, and Dark Souls is the only game with them sets. I just remembered, uh, I have a correction for some commentary from the last time we streamed a chunk of this game. Uh, I was talking about how I couldn't, I, I blanked on the name of Jade's voice actress, and I said it was Jane Fonda. Fonda. I didn't yes. say Jane Fonda, actually. I checked, because I had a feeling all of a sudden. I actually said Jodie Foster. <laughs> <laughs> so still a Jane. It is not Jodie Foster. It's not Jodie Foster. It is not Agent Clarice Starling. <laughs> no, it is not. Uh, Jade's voice actress's first name, I believe, is Jody. So, somebody's in the chat is asking, didn't Jody Fo Foster do a Game Voice once? But I don't know. Also, look at these guys. I, mean, I like probably. It seem, in the year 2017, it seems like everybody's tried it once. Yeah. If the game's got uh, enough Perfect. of a budget. <laughs> yeah. File it. Uh, also, I don't think it's Jane Foster, the fictional character from the Thor films. <laughs> Weird frogs. Ugh. Ugh. The weirdest frogs. good friend the mayor <laughs> Shawnee I've located the probable positions of the alpha's activities I've added them to your map for you to look at send us the pictures you just circled the entire slaughterhouse somewhere in here <laughs> I need more proof Shawnee. Uh, it's Jody Forrest Jody Forrest. Forrest there you go what what else has she been in actually I don't think I've ever heard her in anything else We need three more photos, Shawnee, before we can put issue 514 to bed. Be careful. Oh, could you have taken a picture of the cat lady while uh, Double H was like on the slab? Oh, yes, you totally could have. I guess you could also say Double H being on the slab for your picture of a, a human, too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Double H is too large to fit through too here. Too tight for me. I'll cover your rear, Miss Jade. Uh, she's done a lot of Raymans. <laughs> okay. I guess that makes sense. Uh, she was in Claude Lyoko. <laughs> oh, wow. She's in French Chimay. Look at this boy. Yeah, she seems to do a lot of English voice acting for French people. Huh, okay. Yeah, these are fun. I like these. Yeah. I think they look cool, too. Oh, I got him. Look at that. She was Gohan in one dub or another of uh, Dragon Ball. Oh, wow. I'm, I hate that I'm just thinking of Code Lyoko right now. <laughs> yeah, is it uh, on your mind? Yeah. You got Code Lyoko just <laughs> rattling around in your gigantic noggin. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my five head is uh, really. <laughs> this also just wishing the the electronic girlfriend that I had made uh, would would be real. Mm -hmm. 
That's all I know about Code Lyoko. Oh, uh, intrepid chat people are, are researching this Gohan business. And she's in the uh, the bad dub with Big Green. Oh no, that's where she. That's the dub she did for Dragon that's Ball. That's the dub she's. Oh my that's, god. That's when she's Gohan and various others. Holy shit! I cannot believe it. Man, her voice acting beyond Good and Evil is way better than, than her voice acting in that. <laughs> <laughs> now that we got Double H with us, we get rid of these dumb yes, laser sir. things. But just his armor is invulnerable to these lasers. Like he could just sit here and just like. <laughs> get touched by every laser. Even his skin turns red. I wonder what that feels like. And now you can throw away your garbage in them. Yeah. Every single, like, robot in uh, the, the, the alpha sections have are all uh, dual use. One domestic, one combat. So okay, the the mine throwers. What are what's their second use? What's their domestic use? Hmm. What could they do? Okay, so uh, they can be loaded with multiple different type of homing devices. So on top of uh, shooting like homing torpedoes, they can also shoot uh, harmless homing things that can lock onto your geolocation that will deliver food to you. Yeah, yeah, it's like those grocery delivery services. <laughs> or, you know, they're uh, Hillian FedEx. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Gotta hit the switch over here. And then, hey, there's like a weird firebird with firebird babies. Oh, it's my favorite little JPEG. <laughs> okay, I've added it to my archives. These guys are a little hard to find. They're kind of sneaky. Seven hundred dollars okay. for a sneaky little Good. hidden I mythical beast. Jade. <laughs> and I'll recharge your film. Okay, bye, birds. Let's keep living there, I guess. Doesn't seem like a great place to live, but we can already almost get the next mama go part. Yeah, like we'll be pretty close to being able to afford every, everything the instant we get out of this dungeon, I believe. Big green. Let that child alone. I love that uh, this seems to be a slaughterhouse built by and for giants. <laughs> it's really big. <laughs> Everything is huge. Like, what is going on here? What's that little porthole window, and why is it 10 feet? And <laughs> yeah, they start making those guys a little more uh, difficult, too, because now they have shields. I appreciate it if you don't step on my boy Secundo's lines like that. He only gets so many in this part of the game. <laughs> don't worry. I've made sure that I subtitle all of his lines. Okay. <laughs> Even the ones where he's just like, you got it. You got the item, Jade. I'll never be able to do it by myself. Aww. But it's okay. Solidarity. We're all in this together. <laughs> Reach out into your community. Build those networks, Jade. <laughs> Aha! If you can go through the door, go around it. Carlson and Peter's Opus 4. Opus. How many Jade. Opuses are in this book? <laughs> Opus 4. What are the first three Opuses about? <laughs> the one, two, three, push! Basic exercises, page two. <laughs> Page one is no swearing. Page two <laughs> is pushing things. <laughs> it's blocked, Miss Jade. They must, like, the... 
there must be like a whole section in the book just about like how to properly lift heavy boxes and stuff like it just goes into so much detail so much of soldiering is really just logistical work mm -hmm. knowing how to properly shove a box is very important yeah double h are you not coming up the box with me you good good boy Where's my armor-cased teddy bear? There he is. <laughs> ah, that's right up my alley. No, don't. <laughs> hmm. Getting off of boxes, his favorite thing. Double H. Will you come up with me, please? Carlson and Peters, page 12. Or something. <laughs> Just kind of in a ready position. Just ready to go. There you go. I cannot replace your uncle, Miss Jade, <laughs> but I can be your friend. Carlson and Peter's Appendix C. Okay, <laughs> that's odd. I'm going! That's about helping people grieve. Oh, wow. Yeah. The book really does just cover everything. <laughs> oh, no! He done stuck. So, uh, how are you gonna get through this one? I guess I just have to beat him up. I saw some alert! Alert! Ow! And Double H finished it very <laughs> quickly. And that's why you don't break up the team. Exactly. Oh, right. I forgot about this guy. I like this one. He's a weird animal. He runs away, like, instantly. Behind these boxes. We just spook him a little bit. Uh, he will come out. There he is. <laughs> He's just like a bubble or something. Great, I can start a backup. And she has like no comment on this weird like bubble bug. Oh right, this is actually the, the last roll of film. Uh, I believe. Because there's no pearl for an award instead. Uh, Ooh. an M-disc. Also, this thing moves, like, really fast, remember? Well, it's not super fast, but it's just... It has a scary sound. <laughs> it's okay. Don't be spooked. Ah. It's just a video game. It's not uh. out to get you. All right. Also, this... Yes, sir! Animal. I'm gonna push that button. Whoop. Press again, Four. Double H. There we go. Another amoeba, but he just likes to jump. Okay, I filed the picture. So, uh, if there were to be mm -hmm. a Beyond Good and Evil film, okay. oh my would God. you accept the call to play Carlson and or Peters? Hmm. Would you rather be Carlson or Peters? I feel like Peters, because Carlson sounds like the one that would be the straight man of the group, mm -hmm. and I would want to be the wacky one. Yeah. Double H, no. Oh, wow, I fucked him up. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, whichever one you do, I, I'd be the other one, like, obviously. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would go for Peters. Okay, I, I can Carlson this. <laughs> Bravo, Yid. Everyone thinks I'm a Carlson, but I want a Peters kind of guy. Damn it. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm a Switch. I'm, I'm comfortable <laughs> with whatever. There we go. So yeah, everybody mark that down on your calendars. Uh... <laughs> July 9th, 2017. That's the day I said everybody knows I'm a Switch. <laughs> and, uh... I mean, there were just so many things you've said in the past that have just made people <laughs> theorize about it. Do with that what you will. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so in this room, um, you know, you're fighting those little robot guys, and they drop extra, extra key cards for you. 
Um, uh -huh. If you're playing this game on the PC version, there is a very good chance that this is where you would just stop playing the game. Um, because one of the robots that would die and drop an extra triangle key, the triangle key would not be dropped where they died. It would actually get spawned above the ceiling where you could not pick it up. Oh. And so oh. the game would just be soft locked there. You could not progress. Uh, all right, I have to give him one of the two Here. triangle keys I've got now. Thank you, Miss J. So we can we can time this button press. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, no hurry there, uh, <laughs> Double H. Just Piece of cake after languidly all. saunter on over, why don't you? The third year. Our armors are capable of resisting against their lasers. Please resist these lasers for me, Double H. Okay. Look at him go. He has no ass. <laughs> There's like no ass there. It's just bad framing. I, I'm sure it's there. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, and be so because uh, Games Done Quick was happening last week, uh, I was curious because I believe I asked you last time, like, did anybody ever speedrun this game at Games Done Quick? Okay. And nobody has. But I did look up. I did watch a little bit of the speed run. That's apparently the world record. Um, mm -hmm. And I saw this part. There's a there's a strat with uh, avoiding lasers where uh, when lasers are coming back, uh, they don't hurt you immediately. Like the first split second you're touching the lasers, when they come back, they do nothing to you. Ooh. Yeah. I hadn't seen too many other like strategies that were super interesting from when I skipped around a lot of it was just doing stuff real good and just timing everything really well not a lot of like wall clippings or not whatever from, not from what I saw yeah <laughs> almost in perfect sync yeah pretty close oh wow their their explosion parts never even landed they just disappeared <laughs> They've They're up there in keycard land. <laughs> they vanish together as brothers. It's been a while since you got a heart container, you know? Yeah, it has been, actually. Whoa. No! Oh, no! Goat boy! Is that our goat boy? I don't think so. I think it's a different goat man. I like that song and it only plays in like two spots and they're both in his dungeon, I believe. <laughs> Paige had to go through all that. I hope he survived. He's alive, Miss Jade. They're very careful about keeping them that way. Yeah, while well, you were having fun racing. <laughs> racing and, and playing Three Coconut Monty and... <laughs> Reading your friend Zine. Yeah, reading a lot of zines. Getting really into the zine scene. You know. Welcome back to Zine Scene. I'm your pal Steve McQueen. Uh, zine Scene is the show where we talk about zines and everything about zines. We got mean zines, we got green zines. Uh, and don't even forget. Uh, about my very own Steve McQueen zine. <laughs> uh, this one's only a few pages. It's a pretty lean zine. <laughs> As you all know, I'm only into the lean zines. <laughs> but it's important to have, you know, nice uh, uh, production. You don't want to get sloppy. Have a good, clean zine. Mm. Uh, personally, I subscribe to a lot of bean zines. You know, jelly beans. Like far farm head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just uh, plain old beans. Any type of bean. I'm into it. Mr. Bean Zines. 
I'm uh, way into the Not a lot of words in those, no. but uh, still pretty funny. You know, picture zines. Pictures of Mr. Yeah. Bean. I like these really huge bones that are here. What are these about? Whoop! Aw. Well, it's a slaughterhouse. They gotta slaughter something. I guess so. In a slaughterhouse of this size, they're slaughtering big things. Yeah, I guess they're just slaughtering giants or something, yeah. 